Welcome to forexistrading.com. Let's talk about the example of correlation. What do you see here? Look at those euro dollar and pound dollar chart. They're pretty much add, matched to the edge of the chart. You see, those edges of the chart are at the same spot. In order to see what kind of candle we uh, are moving right now uh, in the same time. So this moment right here is the same moment at pound and what I what I was telling you about uh, in uh, previous uh, correlation videos I was saying that especially your dollar and pound are very much correlated what, like the uh, currencies with basic index like S&P 500 that sometimes you see the previous move on one of those which impact the other and this is the example I'm talking about uh, right this time and yesterday was the moment when we had this situation when growing euro uh, with the uptrend uh, met the situation when the pound started to drop very suddenly it was a beautiful surge and we have those sellers coming in and even at some point I've came in just to take few pips from the market I was hoping for a bigger move at one time but it didn't happen so it stopped me at break even point somewhere around here anyway right now the market's confused but what i wanted to show you is that euro really didn't come in to the uh, sell opportunity at this time when the great britain pound was falling down suddenly and the euro was keeping this level up to few hours later when the uh, Tokyo was opening the Japan have has been open and uh, and we see the same kind of movement that occurred here we have sellers came in and right now the markets continuing kind of this 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 movement so we can we can see some more downtrend movement in some um, uh, future close future time so what I'm trying to say um, uh, in correlation video I'm explaining why you should feel uncomfortable taking long position with euro when the correlated currency um, is falling down rapidly why because the euro the best way to describe the euro behavior is that it will stay at the same level the worst thing could happen worst scenario is the euro will go down very suddenly after the pound it can happen in the same 15 minute time frame it can happen few hours later like it happened um, a few hours before uh, at this time anyway and what I'm trying to say most of the time this move on pound will be followed with euro uh, euro drop uh, on this euro dollar price chart so um, we're gonna see similar moves that's why you shouldn't take the opposite position at, at those uh, charts um, because it's it's pretty much um, not not logical because they will they tend to move in the same direction so if we see for example this kind of move on euro please be careful to go long in pound the best way would be to see clear situation like like the market broke here or the market uh, was breaking out here uh, by the lower uh, levels and and we could enter the market um, uh, some some point at this at this wave anyway the correlation is is, is still working most of the time so uh, one thing you have to be cautious second thing sometimes it tells you a future like pound here it tells you some sell have started and we can wait for this situation to happen also at different currencies at different levels at, at index levels so you have to keep your eyes open thank you very much for listening bye